నమస్తే నమస్తే సార్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ యు టు ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ బ్రీఫ్లీ సార్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ కవిత ఐ ఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ టు గురేన్ ఐ ఎమ్ పర్సీవింగ్ బి కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అట్ సెన్ మదర్ తెరేసా ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ వాహికులం right so how did you come to know about this uh, you know internship program sir the circular from the iks was circulated uh, in my college that is how i came to know about the iks uh, internship program okay so what made you interested only uh, not everybody joined from your college what why what made you interested in this iks program sir i thought uh, it was a good opportunity to learn about our ancient knowledge traditions i see so from iks systems you have chosen a very particular topic for your internship so can you tell me what is the topic and how you got specifically interested in this topic sir my topic is uh, non mechanistic functions of the heart Uh, after discussing uh, with my mentor i found it interesting uh, to look at non uh, mechanistic aspects of the functions of the heart as uh, described in ayurveda i became curious uh, when i learned that modern scientific studies affirms uh, reaffirms ancient uh, ideas about higher functions of the heart i see so uh, from where did you get, get all this information about non mechanistic functions of heart in ayurveda which books uh, uh, were you able to look up and uh, the books uh, the major source of ayurvedic description of non mechanistic uh, functions of heart is charaka samhita uh, with a commentary of uh, chakrabani datta in addition to this uh, bella samhita also discusses uh, interesting points about higher functions of the heart these ideas are seen in other texts like uh, shushruta samhita astanga hridaya and astanga sangraha see so you were able to read this with help because you you don't know sanskrit is it right you cannot read sanskrit so that was have been a challenge okay but still you are able to get uh, relevant information so what are your findings from these ayurvedic texts sir from the ayurvedic text uh, I found that the heart is a seat of memory. Uh, this is mentioned explicitly in Bella Samhita. In Charaka Samhita, it is mentioned by the commentator uh, Chakrabani that the emotional state affects the heart more than any organ in the body. Uh, the Bella Samhita clarifies uh, that the head is the seat of mind, uh, but the heart is the seat of consciousness. Thus, the heart is concerned uh, with empathy, bonding and connectedness. Uh, from these findings i concluded that ayurveda uh, doesn't consider the heart as merely a pump that circulates blood in the body okay so you understood that heart is not just a muscle pumping blood but it is connected to our consciousness memory and emotions okay so then how did you relate this to modern findings why why do you think this was uh, you know relevant uh, today Uh, sir i found that modern scientific studies have uh, rediscovered the ayurvedic concepts of the non mechanistic function of the heart scientists have found today that people who receive uh, heart transplants experiences the memories of the donor uh, this is called the cellular memory uh, when people experiences intense sorrow the left ventricle changes uh, its shape this condition is uh, is called uh, broken heart syndrome in japanese it is called as takotsubo cardiomyopathy <coughs> as the left ventricle uh, reassemble like uh, takotsubo a kind of part used in japan another in- uh, interesting finding is that uh, the connection between the oxytocin and the heart the heart uh, is not only involved in the release of oxytocin but cardiac functions also influenced uh, by it oxytocin helps in bonding and uh, social connections these are the findings i can get from the modern really? yeah okay so you this really shows that uh, you know what today we understand as new ideas are actually seen also in the ancient old texts 
so based on all your uh, reading and findings what can you tell me what are the conclusions that you arrived at yes sir i was fascinated uh, to learn that the ayurvedic concepts of the heart as a seat of memory of consciousness and its vulnerability to emotional disturbances have been indicated in classical ayurvedic text uh, many thousands of years ago uh, today modern scientists have uh, discovered cellular memory that transmits memories of the donor of a uh, heart to the recipient of the transplant the broken heart syndrome affirms the ayurvedic observation that a heart is the organ most affected by emotional stress the link between oxytocin and the heart supports the ayurvedic notion of heart as a seat of consciousness bonding and uh, interpersonal connections ayurvedic text uh, may be a, a rich source of such medical ideas that have relevance even today okay so that's interesting um i think there are there could be many many may, more such uh, interesting ideas that we can learn from ancient text so overall what is your experience with this psychiatry internship program sir i enjoy uh, learning through this internship and i believe that if students get such opportunity or chance they will become more aware of the greatness of the indian heritage and uh, indian knowledge systems Okay that's good to know so i hope you will continue to engage with the study of topics related to iks which is not possible in the present curriculum and such opportunities uh, by the government uh, enables the younger generation to know more about our own heritage so i wish you all the best uh, namaste thank you sir thank you for the iks